another edition of Razor's Edge for Rookies. Today we're going to teach a neat little trick in the Razor's Edge, and this is how to customize your search screen. Now typically in Razor's Edge, when you're doing a search for a record, it does what's called an enhanced search. And let me demonstrate. I'll type in, say, the last name of Smith. Now when I run this, the research results are pulling back a lot of information per record. You'll notice that each one is taking up about five lines. And if you look, it's providing a lot of information. I'm seeing the full name. It'll show the title, the suffix, and even a spouse. And that, this is very helpful when you're trying to find that right record. Often you'll have a, a father and a son where one will be a senior and one will be a junior. And this really helps you identify that one record. Now the problem comes is if you have, say, 100 Smiths in your system. It becomes a real chore to have to scroll down through 100 names when each one is taking so much space. Even if you use the expand results button, which is available, you're still only going to be able to see so many at a time. So often you'll find a lot of people find this as a frustrating view. So they uncheck this enhanced search so they can see more names at a pop. The problem comes now is now your search results are showing less information. You're not seeing a title or a suffix that might be a junior or a senior. Well, I'm going to show you a way that you can remedy this. So to do this, I'm going to bring your attention to this very small little section to the top right of your search window, which you've probably never taken the time to look at before. If you'll notice, there's a section that says search using the query, and it just says default. But on the right hand side of that, you'll notice a small little button that you can press. And what this will do is actually open up a base query. Now, if you've had any experience in query, you notice that you have the ability to put any field you want in the output. So what I'm going to do is go over to the output tab and you'll notice right here is pretty much all the fields that are being shown up in that block during an enhanced search. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this to include fields that I want to see that are helpful to me when I want to actually look and find a record. And the first of them would be the address C or salutation. So I'm going to open up that and pull the primary address C over. And what I'm going to do is replace the full name or this section here with the primary address C. So I'll just remove that. The other thing I might want to see is, say, a person's spouse. So I might put in the spouse name. And just like any other kind of search, you might find that the spouse name really helps you identify which record. Now, the other fields that are here, you see address block, you see preferred city, you see constituent ID. Maybe there's something else on there that you would like that helps you find the right record. Often you'll see, say, the primary constituency. So if you know the person's a board member or if it's an individual or a major donor and you're keeping track of it with a constituency code, this is another way to put it there. So this is a good way that you can now identify all the fields you want on a search. Now, once you've done this, notice this button on the left. It says save and return to search. So when you do it, you're going to give it a name and it could be any name you want. I typically just say master search query. And then when it's done, it'll go back to the query. Now watch what happens when I run this. You'll notice that all the fields that I chose on the output are now available. You'll see a constituent ID, the primary address C, the spouse name, the address block, etc. Whatever we put in those output fields on the query are now what we get to see. And we can see as many as we want without having to use the enhanced search feature, which limits how many we can see. Well, that is your tip of the week. I hope that helps. And for all your training needs, check us out at razorsedgeforrookies.com.